Hello guys, welcome once again. My name is Kobe and this is Skytech Digital. Now, um, in this episode of uh, providing you with great content about Elementor Pro, we're going to talk about portfolio, how we can be able to, um, you know, create a portfolio for our website. Now, um, the last episode that we did, we talked about how we can be able to insert posts in our website, how we can also be able to, you know, create a... Um, a loop carousel and then how we can be also be able to create a loop grid now we've talked about the three of them the first three of the elementor pro widgets now we're going to talk about the fourth one which is the portfolio widget okay so portfolio widget now with the portfolio widget um as you can see that is the fourth one over here so this one over here so and what we're going to do is um, of course i've created my title already I've also created my um, one container over here, Flexbox container over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag in this portfolio into the Flexbox container, okay? So, um, I will just drag in this one over here. I'm just going to drag it in, okay? And then, we're going to see how it all it will all turn out. So, as you can see, um, what it does is it pull out, uh, it will pull in, um, you know, um, pictures from a post okay into the portfolio so basically if you look at the portfolio layout over here now let's go to the query where the the, the pictures are pulling from so you're going to see that the pictures the source is going to be what our post over here now of course you can decide to create your own um, you can use pages you can use um, landing pages you can use you know manual selection or you can even use a um, current query or related what query okay but we are going to use post because um first of all your portfolio is more or less like you know your your you create different different posts talking about your um the projects that you thought you've done okay so it can be um you know custom post and other stuff that you would you you use it to create your portfolio so um that is what we are going to talk about so we are assuming that our posts are our various um, portfolio that we have what we have already created now if you hover on this one you're going to see that we have um you know um, the title of the post or the pro uh, project on it over here and then the same applies to this particular one the same applies to all of them but you can you can style it you can make it unique you can make it the way you want it okay so first of all what i want to do is i want to go to um the the column edit the column over here click on um this um six dot over here to edit the the container okay and then go to it advance over here and i'm going to, i want to make um you know create a pattern for it so I'm going to go over here and then make it um you know 80 um, 50 all around 50 pixel all around okay so that um this is going to have a breathing space over here now i'm going to just select the portfolio over here and then i'll go to the columns over here now you can decide to you know um choose from one to as many columns as you want maybe as six or so but i want to make it like a two column portfolio just like this one over here okay so the number of um number per page you can decide to what you can decide to uh, make it either six eight or each other way you want it depends on you okay and then the image resolution also you can choose between um, the various resolution over here okay but i'm going to leave it at the medium over here and then you can decide to make it masonry or not and then the item ratio also you can decide to um, increase it or decrease it depends on you okay so as you can see this is how it looks like okay but 0.66 is quite okay and then you can decide to also show title now show title means that when i hover on it the title is going to be over here okay and that is when that is it now the query i've already talked about it where you want to um the post the source where you want the post to be from if you want to include or exclude you can use this place to do that um the date if you want to sort by you know where how you want to sort by date uh, media um you want to order also you know how you want to order it you can also um you know use it and then one other thing is over here which is the filtered bar okay so you can decide to uh, create um kind of like a filtering portfolio okay whereby people ha have some items over here to click on it to filter between 
um, each photo for instance let's look at this particular one over here let's just um, put it on now when you put it on you don't see anything over it because you need to choose a taxonomy for it okay now with a taxonomy it's either between category or um, um tags okay so if i select the category over here let's see what happens so if if the posts are uh having categorized into different different um you know categories you're gonna see um it over here okay so let's wait for it to load and then let's get into it so of course um we don't see anything over here we don't see no category over here okay but let's go to tags and see because i think the post is in just one category and that is why okay so as you can see we have the podcast and then all over here okay but i want different different um you know um filtering okay so for instance so if i click on tags over here i'm going to see so many filtering options that i'll i'll get on this particular portfolio um over here so let's wait and see let it load and see um you know sorry for the delay guys my internet is really really bad today i don't know why i don't know why it's behaving this way but that is it so i'm just going to hold on and then see how um it comes out with all right guys so as you can see over here we can see our you know tags over here so we have creative we have digital pr we have pr we have pinterest we have ceo and seo and then we have what strategy okay so as you can see you can filter between all these tags over here so if i want to choose maybe creative um this is how it's going to be like so only the creative word will show if i want to go to digital pr and there is a digital pr it will show but as of now um, i think yeah this one is over here and then if you go to what pr also um if there is a pr it's also going to what it's also going to show okay if you go to pinterest also if there is a pinterest you know post over here or project over here it's going to it's going to show for us if you choose um seo if there is a you know an seo post it's also going to show over here if you choose strategy if there is a strategy post it's also going to what it's also going to show over here so basically that is what that is how the the whole um, filtering thing looks like okay now let's decide to style the the whole um the whole portfolio itself so we're gonna go to style over here and then um we will style it one after the other so first of all the items so if you want to give a breathing space for each of the items you can of course do so so you can give them um, you know a column gap and then a row gap also so i'm just going to give it 25 25 for column and then for row also so as you can see this is how it's gonna look like okay very perfect now the item overlay also you can what you can decide now of course if you want a border radius you can also do so now the background color for the item overlay so you can choose um a background color for it so i'm going to choose this my yellow so that it's so at the moment if i hover on it this is how it looks like but i want my yellow um color over here so if i hover on it this is how it's going to be look like but i want the image the, uh, like a background overlay not like to cover all of them but i want to see a little bit of the image so i'm going to go over here and then um decrease the opacity of of the um you know the color okay so i think this one is quite okay so as you can see this is how it looks like okay it's gonna what uh, run through all of them okay and then the the color the color also that is the text color right i'm gonna choose um black over here okay now of course if you want to reduce the size of this um this text you can do so when you go over here you can even change the, the typography size and everything you can do so but if i want to um you know ch change the size over here i can go ahead and then make it like an 18 okay so if i hover on it you see that it's going to be what a little bit smaller okay of course i can decide to make it like let's say 22 okay so let me make it like 22 and see how it looks like okay so this is how it's going to be like okay so basically this is what this is quite okay now you can even increase uh decrease the uh or reduce the size of the what the line height so i'm going to make it um em over here so i'm going to scroll up change it to em and then make it 1.3 em 
all right so um i think everything is quite okay for me then the next one is the filtering okay so um the filtering the filtering let's go up over here this is the filtering also so let's just um you know select it and then see the the things that is under the filtering so um you can you know change the color the active color and all those things um the color let's make it let's make it all black i'm gonna change it to the ascent color all right and then the active color over here you can also decide to um you know make it any color that you want so let's say the active color i'm gonna make it like a yellow okay so i'm gonna make it this yellow all right so this is how it looks like okay yeah basically that is it so um i think it's it's quite okay for me and if you if you are cool with it if you're okay with it of course you can go ahead and then um publish publish it so i'm going to just publish it and then we're going to see it on the front end how it looks like on the front end all right so let's go to the front end and have a look at how, how it looks like so we're going to refresh the whole website itself and then see how it looks like okay so this is the loop carousel and then this is the post and then this is our portfolio so as you can see guys it looks pretty awesome okay it looks pretty good so if i click on digital pr this is how it's going to look like if i click on seo this is how it's going to look like okay so it looks so nice it looks so beautiful if i click click on um creative this is how it's going to look like if i click on pr this is how it's going to look like pinterest this is how it's going to look like um, strategy this is how it's going to look like seo and then if i want all of them they'll all come back together so guys it looks pretty nice pretty beautiful and that is how you can be able to create a very nice portfolio um, using the portfolio widget in Elementor Pro.